Greetings everyone, Lumberg here. Today we're going to do an update on Medici. It's been a while since I've uh, done a good video and some of the information in my old video is updated. So we're going to start off by boosting because I think it is worth boosting. A uh, quick thing to remember is that it is now progressively harder the harder that your um, city, the higher that your city goes. So we're going to use a one hour HP bonus. We're going to use a two hour troop expansion. We're going to use a one hour attack bonus. And let's see, I think that's it. We're going to use your fleet expansion. And then now we will go ahead and set a fleet. So now that all those buffs are there, you can also request a title if you have that from the from the capital or the president. Um, I didn't see one available in time, so let's go ahead. So first thing to remember is to use maximum zombies. Um, here you can see that my maximum zombies is 70k, and so I'm going to use that. Zombies are extremely important. All right, now we're going to use one of our uh, saved fleets so that it saves us some time. I recommend using about 100 units for all of your mid rows. Let's just do, on this top button right here, where it says all, you can toggle it for easier um, troop setup. So we're going to change armored soldiers to 100, lock that, axes to 100, lock that, tanks to 100, and lock that. We're going to increase our shredders to about 4,000. Let's lock that. Um, and because I used the save fleet, it changed my zombies, so we'll have to adjust the zombies again. There we go. Middle row. 100 is good on rockets. Let's use 100 bikes. Lock it. 100 gunners. And 100 stormtroopers. Oops, not 1,000. The reason for 100 is, of course, um, you know, so that you have some left over after the end of each battle. So here for lasers, I like to use 10,000. We're going to use about 10,000. Um, oops. We're going to use about 10,000 T9 cannons, T11, of course, if you have it. And the reason why I like these is because they are they hit multiple targets. And even though the, the sniper is better for killing the boss, I like these because of the multiple target hits. Um, shielders, we're going to skip just for, um, it, it seems like you get better targets when you skip the, uh, the, the, the shielders, better targeting. So we're going to skip shielders, and I think our fleet is set up. So let's go ahead and hit all, and then say set out, confirm. Okay, so uh, at the bottom right here, you can see this flashing button here in the red at the bottom left is, if, basically, if you've, if you've done up to a certain level, I think it allows you to do up to minus six of that level. So if you reach 12, you might be able to skip the first four levels. Uh, in the interest of time and just uh, you know just to speed this up, you know I, I recommend that you do skip it. Of course, now you, you're not going to need to heal, so you want to get the plus five bonus. Some modification to some of the things that I recommended before is that you really want to um, focus on front, back row, and zombies. So here there's troop defense, but I'm going to actually select melee HP, even though it's 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 green. And in my older videos, I'd said it, it's it's better to you know get scavenger and um, looter. I really changed my mind on that. It's more important to get as far as you can in the levels and not you know focus on the score. So we're going to skip it again. And and you know initially you know when when getting a high score meant you get good rewards that really isn't true anymore now it's really you want to get to those higher levels um, where you can get that uranium where you can get those better rewards again uh, melee defense might be better so we'll select that i always prefer hp oh and there's one more thing that um we're going to use two more buffs which i think is worth it for we're going to use the buff here for um Medici attack tonic of the maximum, 500, and then the HP tonic. So I've spent 1,000 gold there, 1,000 on the fleet expansion uh, so far. So let's keep going. And the reason why I spend that 1,000 is because it helps me get to higher levels. I'm a level 33, which is a bad place to be for Medici because the difficulty level is higher and then, you know, your troop tiers are still T10. So... Um, and, you know, that's almost like an incentive for people that, you know, don't have the uranium, don't um, 
Uh, again, I don't really, even though previously I would have gotten looter, now it's more important to get the defense and, and stay alive longer. Okay, let's keep going. I think I got to level 15 last time, so I might let me skip about seven levels. And the other tip that I was going to share is that don't unlock these boxes until later on. It seems like the, the boxes become better. Okay, long range attack, good. The box rewards are, are more likely to be um, orange and purple in later levels. So I, I usually like to save that gold for, for then. And another trick that I've um, that's going to be a repeat of what I've shared before is that I like doing this in the last minute. Um, here, long range defense really isn't that great, so I might as well pick scavenger. Um, um, I like to do this in the last 20 minutes, that way I can double dip on my buffs, because basically Medici happens, and then the next day, you always want to check these, uh, um, these here. So I recommend actually getting anything that says 70 or more, or 60 or more. Here you can see the mutant meat, I actually recommend buying that, so I'm going to go ahead and buy that. That's a good deal. So the double dipping is really helpful because you're going to use that two hour buff. You're going to use the um, uh, you're, you're going to use um, the fleet expansion, um, uh, the attack and HP uh, boost. Let me just pick maybe HP. So you can see already in this run, um, it all really depends on the on the wave and bonuses that you get. And you can see that I haven't really seen a good purple or an orange yet. So a lot of it's luck based, just like the tower end. Uh, rewards on. Okay, so this is a good one. Long range attack. If long range attack wasn't there, I would recommend getting biomedical um, um, boosts for your zombies. Zombies are a huge, huge benefit. So one of the changes that happened that we're going to see in a second is that um, you know, the, these boosts, uh, these items here, you know, the, the bomb, the stimulant, the first cape, aid kit, you know, you don't want to misuse them because if you don't use them, you actually get biochemical materials at the end. So any unused items. Okay, great. Troops attack. I guess we'll pick that. If Normally, I would recommend that you get this one, but, you know, I have more troops than I have zombies here, um, so we'll keep going. All right, so that was the last level that we could skip. It allowed me to, I think it's six levels that allowed me to skip. I got to 15, so now I can, I was able to get to nine easily. Um, I'll fast forward these through. You still want to get the um, the 5% troop boost because that really does help. You don't want to use any of the boosts here. We can skip all those battles. You can see that I'm losing a little bit of health because I have those shredders. One great thing about zombies is that, you know, even when you lose them, there's actually, um, there's no uh, healing or reduction in fleet. So zombies don't count. They're almost like free. That's why the zombie tank approach works really well on farms. So far, so good. We're in level 10. And you only want to use the 20% the heal when you're basically right at 20. And you want to kind of um, adjust what you hit in what order in order to get the maximum out of that boost. Set the boss first. Skip it. We'll watch some of the battles later on. Now, is this the time that I want to unlock the... Um, boost. Okay, we'll get biomedical zombies attack. That helps. Uh, let's go ahead and use one of these. So, so far, awesome. I got, this is what I wanted. Corpse Mountain is actually phenomenal. That's, that's, that's amazing. Um, so it increases your zombie uh, count and that really does help. Let's see if there's any good sale here. This one's at 40%, so I don't recommend getting that. I really wouldn't buy anything except for the mutant meat. And that's why you see I was, uh, maybe it's just luck, but I always find that if you're going to open up one of those boxes with gold, um, you know, it gets, of course, progressively expensive, but you want to wait until you, 
we were at one of these higher levels at 10 plus to, to open those boxes because I think that the chances of getting, you know, uh, an orange is higher at that level. Let's watch this battle and see. Okay, so you can see that you see how the zombie, my zombie number was was high and look. Now it's beautiful. That zombie number being high will actually help me probably get to an, a level higher than I would normally without Corpse Mountain. Okay, Titans. My Titans are pretty mediocre. They're they're um, they're blue, so I'm actually gonna select the non-purple one and get troops attack. If you have really good Titans, that that may be a good idea. So one good thing that they did, you know, in the modification a couple weeks ago, is they added that at level eleven, you know. Um, if you if you're able to beat the boss, it basically allows you to unlock this box here, the glowing one, and get 600 uranium. That's why I really recommend that if you're not getting into this level, it is worth spending a little bit of gold to to, to be able to beat level 11. So I'm going to keep an eye on my. Um, you can see here I'm at 89% of health, but let's go ahead and finish this. Sometimes I even recommend don't don't do those little minions, but I'm not losing that much because I have that corpse mountain. So a lot of Medici, you know, as you guys have already figured out, is really based on luck. So that's sometimes good and sometimes it's, you know, infuriating. So level 11 onward, if you get lucky, you can get uranium from one of these boxes. I didn't get it that time. I'm still good. I'm going to just do the fleet expansion of 5%. You can see I'm not losing that much. Let's do the fleet expansion. I'm not going to use an item either. Let's see what it looks like. My zombies are still holding up. Zombies held up. Yep. So they didn't reach my back row, so that means my zombies are still strong, but you can see it was down to about 20k zombies. So for the next one, all right, let's use troop rule. Beautiful reward. For the next one, I probably will use a first aid because my zombies are, are, are basically um, dwindling down. So let's keep going. You know, Medici went from one of my favorite events to one of my least favorite events because, you know, I just did so miserable on this. I can still, um, I can still get to uh, the last level on my farm where, you know, I basically just kept on building zombies and, 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 um, so compared to the base strength, it's it's uh, it's doing really well. Oh, awesome! Uranium, yes, that's a good, that's a good box. So so far, I've gotten six hundred from level uh, eleven, and then three fifty there. Um, this boss is easy; it's melee, so I'm not going to use any items. Let's take a look. You can see because the melee boss is easy because you know they target him first, and so it's just um, that's one thing to keep in mind. Know your bosses; know which ones are are easier. Um, pretty, pretty bad choices. I, I guess I'll just get the Titan. Um, let's, sometimes, you know, this armory is one of the hardest battle. If you're low on health or, um, you know, that's, that's a good one to use one of these, um, guided bombs on to clear that level. Most of you already know this. Um, if you didn't, I'm just sharing those tips as, as we go through this level. And, you know, while you have this boost, and I'm going to show you after this video, is that the key thing to do is to actually use these boosts to, um, you know, use that fleet expansion in the mines, hit some people in the mines that you normally wouldn't be able to beat. You know, uh, everybody's boosted, of course, during Medici. Um, not everybody, but a lot of people are boosted. Um, let's see. Do uh, Yes, I do want to use the first cake it kit and see how this looks like. Okay, I lost a lot of my fodder, so this might be poor. Yep. Glad I used that first aid kit because I'm going to lose it. Okay, great. All right, so I lost it. What we might do is um, use an attack boost because it was close and see if we can beat him because I don't have a heal available. But And if I do lose, I'm just going to heal my troops. Yeah, I'm not going to lose because... Um, But I'm going to lose a lot of health. Let's see. Yeah, 76%. Let's see. All right, biochemical zombie defense. 500, too pricey. I'm not going to unlock it, but let's see how we go to the next layer. 
So I'm almost capping out here, but uh, let's see if the reward is good. Um, now I do want, I have a lot of first aid kits, so I'm, I'm just going to kill one of these. Not lose some health, I really need that plus. Um, okay, let's see, let's kill this, get the armory boost. So far, no good. Let's try to hit this guy. Uranium, awesome. Okay, now I'm now I'm in the clear. All right, so let's hit this guy. Got it. Okay, so now let's heal. Now let's use a first aid kit. I probably will not succeed, but let's take a look. Even though this guy is a front row boss, he just hits really hard. Um, but looks like we made it. So it's a good use of the first aid kit. That front row healing really helped. We've cleared this level. It's got long range attack, even though it's blue. And here's a good example of you don't really need to hit this guy um, to and keep that 96%. So we're going to move on to the next level. Now, if you're missing one of those reward boxes, every level has those two. You probably did want to do that. So let's actually go ahead and hit this. Good, good, good. Um, I'm going to use a first aid kit and see if we can beat the boss. He is front row, so that should help us. But didn't have enough front row, so we didn't make it. All right, let's see. What else can we do? Um, Just gonna see if let's finish some of these minions. Oh, I that was a bad move. Let's try this. So that was a mistake on my part. I should have shouldn't have hit that last boss. Got greedy. Should have tried it with attack boost. I don't think we'll make it. I don't think we'll make it at all. Now we could. Use a key. Um, you know, this is a time that some people use this, you know, um, um, golden hand skeleton to get to the, to the next level, but I really don't think that's a worthwhile spend. Um, let's try using this 500 gold, see if we succeed. Uh, it's pretty bad. Just bad luck there. Let's do, let's heal here for 300. Let's use a attack buff and see if we can beat it. Nope, not gonna work. Very close, but it was wasted effort. Oh well, let's just finish these guys. And that's where we ended. So that's 24k, level 16. I couldn't beat it. Wasted a little bit of gold at the end. Um, and we finished it with eight minutes to spare. Okay, so let's exit now. Um, and as a bonus, we're just going to show you some mind fleets. Um, but first thing we want to do is probably hit the elite zombie. Um, of course, now um, in your fleet, one of each unit is the way to go, including stormtroopers, gives you the highest damage. And then um, snipers or cannons, whichever one uh, is the highest T tier for you. So let's do 296, 200, and 33. Let's see, do we have one of each? Yes. We're going to go ahead and save this, and then we can use this for before reset and after reset. You can use all those boosts. And just to go back to Medici, you can see um, here when you look at your reward record, you can see that, okay, what we get, so you can see 1900 uranium, which is actually pretty good for the amount of gold that we spend. You know, at that end, I was hoping that we would punch through uh, level 16, but it just wasn't enough. 
if I didn't use that extra gold, so you can see that 1,000 was from the um, two-hour expansion, 1,000 was the Medici buffs, uh, 200 plus 300 on the re revive um, on, on the boxes, and then we spent a little bit of gold to, to buy the, the mutant meat. All right, let's go visit the mines. And first thing let's do is actually adjust our fleet. So we're going to use, ooh, this is a, let's change it to, uh, 16,000, let's go with 12,500 cannons. And then the rest we'll do in snipers, which is 289. Just doing math in my head, 131, 289. Yep, we're good include the titans because it deselected it let's go ahead and save that as number five okay so that's a that's a pretty big size fleet let's see if we can find a good target Uh, we will end it here, and I will show you the fleets and the pitting of Mother of, um, or Doom's Iron Group in another video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll try to see if I can uh, cut this into a shorter video and make it useful for you guys. Have a wonderful day.